Hi guys, new video today. Painting is not the same as telegraphing or vice versa. So there are some people that are confused when it comes to uh, telegraphing or not telegraphing, especially for Jeet Kune Do because the Jeet Kune Do is a martial art where you put a lot of emphasis in not telegraphing your movements. The clearest difference between these two is that painting is where you intentionally want to telegraph or uh, do a fake attack so you create an opening for your next technique but your next technique you don't want to telegraph not telegraphing and fainting or telegraphing and fainting are two different things when you telegraph it means you're doing something wrong when you're fainting it means you don't do something wrong because you want to do this just a um, simple example if you're here or in on guard and you faint an attack and you faint a finger jab or, or punch to the hand and you faint this and your opponent reacts, you go like here and then you kick low, okay? It's as simple as that. Or other way around, you faint low and attack high. You go here and you go there. Telegraphing is when I want to attack the guy and let's say I want to do a finger jab or straight lead or whatever and I telegraph that much that he can actually react before I reach him. That would be if I step before I move my hand or I shift my weight before I move my hand, okay? This, these are the things you don't want to do. Either you're kicking or punching so the guy can see what's actually coming. Another thing I forgot is some people claim there's um, a hammer principle where uh, the idea is that your hand is always shown to your target so you don't telegraph. This is just one part of not telegraphing your movement, the hand. But what they forget is in street combat, you never start your fight in on guard position. So you don't start like this. You, you may start like this. You may also start like this or like here, maybe sometimes like here. So you also ha have to learn uh, to not telegraph on there. So you don't go like here and then go here. Instead, you're here and you attack without often tele telegraphing this. You go with hand first and you position your, your feet and then uh, you finger jab the guy. The simple test, he can try to block this. When I telegraph, it's pretty easy for him to wait the attack or to block the attack. So if I telegraph this, uh, it will be something like this. Okay, so no chance because I move myself and my hand comes last and he can react. If I do it the other way around and then he tries to react. My fingers are in the eyes by the time he tries to evade or to block my hand because I didn't telegraph despite my hand doesn't show in the, to the target. It is advantage that your hand uh, shows to the target so you have a smaller silhouette to your opponent and when you move and the hand stays on the target much like a tank a military tank which is uh, moving through through the ground and the, the lower part is moving and the cannon always stays on the target same idea but this only applies if you're in on guard sometimes when you're in on guard when you fall uh, far away you can have your hand here and when you punch from here, you also have to be able uh, not to telegraph. So if you if you move if if, if you're here, then your your hand should move first. Then comes the push up, and then comes the hip. So when you when you're here, you're not telegraphing. You see a lot of people stepping, moving hip, and the hand hand comes last. This is a huge telegraph. So you should not do that. Actually, you should be able not to telegraph from any position. Like I said, not only from here from the on guard. Also from natural stance or neutral stance, wherever your hand may be, the same, same applies to the kicks. If you're here, you can reach the guy, you don't want to telegraph. If you're too far away, okay, then you have to step in. You have to do it fast because you can't, you can't kick the guy without, without the shuffling when you're far away. Then you can apply a feint. So you're hiding your shuffle behind your fake at, uh, attack. And this would be like here and you kick the guy. Then you telegraph in the upper area where you want to kick in the lower area, but your kick 
is still not telegraphing. Your second attack should be telegraphed. So you should be able to kick without bending your body when you kick. So many people, especially beginners, when they kick, they go like here. But when you kick, when you don't want to telegraph, you kick and your body doesn't, does not move. You go like here, oh yeah, boom, and that's it. And if it goes back, if it sees that, it can block this. Then you can continue with here. I'm intentionally kicking slow so he can block me. If I kick fast, you're in. You have really, you have to make a difference between a fake attack, intentional fake attack, and a, a, a telegraph. A telegraph is something you don't want to do. You don't want, you want to hide your intentions when you attack for wheel. When you don't attack for wheel, you can telegraph. The telegraph is not only, you know, like this year. If you're in on guard, and the guy's maybe also in on guard, and you go like here, this looks like a low attack, okay? You can go here, and then you go, you follow with a high attack. Same is here, you can go here, and go here, look. I didn't even attack, I just, just moved my upper body and hip, and this looks, I'm starting a punch, and then he raises his block or his cover, and then you kick the guy between the legs. This is uh, how you want to trick your opponent. Especially if he's a good uh, blocker or, or a guy who parries very well, then you want to provocate a parry from him and attack on another line. Like I said, anytime, every time when you attack, you shouldn't telegraph. So you should hide your attentions. And this works the best when you go the most direct way and you don't think about styles. You don't think about, I'm going here, he blocks me, now I'm Wing Chun. You, you think natural biomechanics and the, the most direct path. If he blocks me, go here he may block down then you can go up and you can go here okay so just for the example if he blocks you down you can go up if he blocks you up you can go down if you blo uh, blocks your left you can go right you can go from left to right down from uh, right up to left down so it's not so easy to him to to move his hands because um, he loses so much time and you are much more direct, so you want to score. Usually the people who win fights are those who are more direct than their opponents. And so they just hit them earlier. Okay. So guys, I hope this helps. And um, this clears up some confusion between telegraphing and fainting and non-telegraphing. Um, because there's a difference. It's not the same thing. And see you next time. Mm -hmm.